In this particular introductory video on probability, I want to talk about some basic information. The definition of probability contains uh, a set, and this set is called a sample space. The sample space lists all possible outcomes for that event. So for example, looking here, I'm flipping a, a coin. The coin has just two possibilities if you flip one coin. It's a head or a tails. We also have n of s, and that's just how many items are in the sample space. If I have two coins, then the sample space gets a little more complicated. Sometimes if you draw a tree diagram, that will help you list all the possibilities. So if you start a dot here and then branch to get an H, branch to get a T, and then you branch off each of those, then what you end up with is something that, uh, that looks like that with HH, HT, TH, and TT. There are four possible outcomes, and you really need to list all possible outcomes. If you're looking at a sample space where you're considering three people born to a family, then you have to list, well, what are all the possibilities? So B is boy, G is girl. So on the first child, you could get boy or you could get a girl. And that's what each of these first letters is, is the first child. On the second child, well, on the second child, it depends upon what the first was. So I may have had a boy on the first, followed by a boy. Then again, I could have had a boy followed by a girl. And then again, on the third child, you can have boy or girl again. And if you trace down all the branches of the tree diagram, you're going to list out all of these eight possible outcomes. Listing the sample space is critical because you have to count. And when I want to find the probability of an event, I have to count how many things are in the event. Some more common uh, sample spaces are if I roll one six-sided die that has a series of dots on it, I could either roll a one, two, three, four, five, or six, which is pretty easy, and you only have six items in that sample space. A little more complicated is if I'm rolling two die. If I'm rolling two die, then I have to consider all the possibilities again. So when you see one, one, that means I rolled a one with the first die, then rolled a one with the second die. Now you could also have one on the first die and two on the second die. One on the first, three on the second. And then you're listing out all the possible outcomes. So the order that they are occurring makes a difference here. So if I say I roll a two and a three or a three and a two, we're going to count those as two different possibilities here. Now, you might say, well, if I just walked in, how would I know just looking at two die sitting on a table? And you really wouldn't. But for the case of calculating probability, in this situation, we're trying to list all possible outcomes. Another common uh, thing in probability is looking at a deck of playing cards. The total number of cards in the whole deck is 52. If you look along the top row here, those are black cards. And on the bottom, those are black cards. And if we count how many total black cards, there are 13 black cards. And if I count how many red cards, there's 13 in each of those as well. 
If you look at the symbols on the cards, you have this clover-like thing, which is called a black club. You have this diamond shape that's red, and that's a red diamond. We have a red heart, and the little shape down here at the bottom is a black spade. You'll also notice that the cards start with A, and then count 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. At 10, it goes Jack, Queen, and King. So oftentimes in calculating probability, it's going to ask you about red cards or black cards or how many fours in the deck. So if I'm counting how many fours in the deck, there are one, two, three, four of them. If I look at the number seven, there's four cards that have a seven on them. Two are black cards and two are red cards. So you have to be careful when looking at deck of playing cards. It comes up really often. The other thing that's important that we're going to use a lot in section 4.3 is this uh, a formula for the probability of not an event. And that's 1 minus the probability of the event. Now if you think in terms of weather, this, is, this makes some sense. If the weatherman in the morning says the probability of rain is 30%, well, then you would say, okay, it's going to rain. That's 30% probability. That must mean that 70% chance there will be no rain. So it's just 1 minus the probability of rain. So again, in 4.1, the importance is a deck of playing cards as well as creating all the outcomes in the sample space.